So 20 years ago, a young engineer left his first professional career. That's me, the English watch. And he was given some souvenirs from said company. It was Pioneer Electronics. And not only was I given a mug and a pen and some other bits and pieces, I was given a watch. So this uh, very fetching chronograph watch where the black leather strap has long since disintegrated. Now this looks like a little toy watch now. Uh, it's 36 millimeters. It's, <laughs> it's got very tiny sub registers. And at the time I thought, oh, you know, I was wearing a 36 millimeter watch and thought it was quite special. Not into watches then. But looking back now, you know, this is just some memorabilia of something that I used to do when I was a lot younger. Anyway, roll on 20 years. And put this one to one side now. And I've just left my other, my second job. 20 years. And I've been given some more stuff. So not uh, lots of bits and pieces, but just one thing. Now, for those of you who don't know, I've worked for Jaguar Land Rover 20 years, and very fittingly, they bought me a watch. So let's dive in and see what's inside. I'm Andy, and welcome to the English Watch. Now, don't forget, if you like this content, you like this style of video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. So before I switch the camera angle, let's take a quick look at what's on my wrist. So today, I'm still wearing my Planet Ocean, this is the 43.5 millimeter version on the blue rubber strap. This is the factory OEM rubber strap. It's not from this watch. The, uh, if you buy this watch new, it comes with like a, a crocodile leather rubber strap. Uh, this one is from the previous version, uh, the GMT, I think. Uh, but you can buy it, it's 21 millimeter lug width, so you can buy that. It's got the genuine class as well. I know there are cheaper ones available off eBay and Etsy, but I've tried those clasps and you know the, the genuine are sort of expensive but do you know what for the percentage of the value of the watch and the length of time we're going to keep it just spend the money right let's change camera angles and get on with the unboxing right okay here it is the box now uh, sadly I don't think this is the Bremont um, Jaguar watch at five thousand pounds or indeed the Zenith Range Rover, or one of the other special edition Zenith El Primero uh, watches at £11,000. This is one of the boutique watches. So let's unbox and have a look. So let's slide out the outer sleeve. And it's. And this is one of the themes with the Jaguar stuff. It's black and red. And if you go into the factory, um, if you get the chance to do a tour, especially if you go around the, the F-Type sports car, this sort of contrasting theme is very much to be seen throughout. So there's a box in a box, so the outer cardboard box, and here we have a Jaguar box inside. Bring that out. And this has got a Jaguar embossed lid. It's like a faux leather, sort of grained um, vinyl outer box again with that sort of red detailing on the inside. So open it up, and there you can see, there's the watch. Now if you look on the website, there are other watches available from Jaguar, and I'm sure uh, Land Rover and other brands do something similar. On the Jaguar website, they've, they've got a range of watches, uh, very Zin-like in their appearance, so black and red is a bit of a styling cue. There's some interesting looking chronographs. Uh, there's one that looks a bit like um, a cross between a, a Brighton Navi timer and a Speedy Tuesday. Um, and there's some sort of heritage dials uh, and some more modern ones. And yeah, these are retailing at around 150 to 200 pounds. So at that price, your choices are pretty varied. I wouldn't say these watches were disposable at 150 pounds. Um, these are watches you might buy as a gift, as in my case. Yeah, these aren't expensive watches, but 150 pounds is still a great deal to spend on, on any item, uh, a watch included. So for a similar price on the Goldsmiths website, you can get Boss, Armani, uh, which people have got an opinion on, obviously. Um, you know, these are quartz watches after all, uh, cheaply made and high margin watches. But nonetheless, yeah they, yeah, they can be used as a fashion accessory, they can be used as a beta watch, 
uh, if you don't want to wear your uh, Rolex or a special Amiga you know, out to the pub at night, if you're afraid you're going to get drunk, fall over and smash it on, on the curb in a drunken stupor or maybe get robbed um, whilst you're three sheets to the wind, then these are potentially a good option. But also at this price you could buy a number of swatches or just stick with the tried and tested Casios and Seikos. The choice is yours. So let's take it out and have a quick look. Oh, there's a piece that comes out inside. So let's take the watch out. It's on a little leather cushion. Put that down. And inside you've got the uh, piece of desiccant there to keep the moisture out. Um, I don't think we'll be needing that anymore. And then inside you've got a small instruction manual, which again, you know, it's got a little inlay in there for that. And we don't really need a manual to tell us how to use a watch, but what it does do is it tells you what the movement is. So the Miyota 2115. So the watch here is on, as I said, this nice leather cushion. So let's remove that. Some leather strap. And there we have it. Right, so dimensionally, this is quite a big watch. It's a 44 millimeter case diameter. Thickness, not too bad, 12.5 millimeters, but then it is a quartz watch. The lug to lug is quite a whopping 54 millimeters. Uh, this is getting into IWC pilot chronograph territory. And the strap has got a lug width of 24 millimeters, which tapers down to 22. So quite a thick strap to go on a otherwise big watch. Looking on the back, this is a screw down crown. It's got a nice sort of laser engraved Jaguar logo on the back. Uh, 10 atmospheres, so 100 meters of water resistance. Looking to the side of the watch, so this is an all satin case. I mean, to be fair, it looks like it's just come out of the CNC machine. The, the bezel is a sort of, a, it's worse, well, a monoblock style design with the bezel is integrated with the case. You know, there's no hand finishing to be seen here. And you'd have to say that some of the finishing around the lugs is very industrial. Now the crown has, uh, it, let me just rotate that, what we call the, the growler, so it's the face of the Jaguar. You tend to get that on the bonnet badge and sometimes on the wheel caps. And then you've got on the back is the, the leaper, the Jaguar leaper. So looking at the strap, this is a grained black leather strap, contrast red stitch. It's got like a tan, it says genuine leather, I'm sure it is, but this is not going to be a vegetable tan at this price. I mean, I've spent more on straps than the whole price of this watch. Uh, the pin buckle, stainless steel, it's got a Jaguar signing on, if you can see that, there you go, Jaguar signing on the pin buckle. Now this has got a little sticker on the dial. Let's just peel that off. This is a domed uh, mineral crystal. So it's not sapphire. Um, I don't think there's any anti-reflective coating on there. Now what you will notice is that the, the dial is quite large. But the date window is quite far inboard. And at the hands, don't stretch all the way out to the supplied indices. And in fact, run around this sort of minute track, this fine gradient around the inside. Now that's down to the, the movement that this watch uses. So as I said, this is a, uh, it's a Japanese quartz uh, Miyota 2115 with a date function. Now its stated accuracy is plus or minus 20 seconds a month, which, you know, it's a quart, so as you'd expect, no thermal compensation at this price. But the actual diameter of the movement is only 23 millimeters. And coincidentally, that is the diameter of this inner ring, which is why the handset don't extend past there. Because if you put bigger hands on there, you need more torque for the movement to pull them round. And it's only warranted for a certain size of hand, which is what they've stuck with. I don't know who designs these watches, but 43 millimeters, sorry, 44 millimeters is a fair old size. It's a bit of a weapon in all fairness, and I'll put it on the wrist in a minute and we can see what it looks like. 
but all of the watches on the website are of this size, they're substantial. Now for 150 quid, I'm sure there's a Casio, a Seiko, a Swatch out there that will fit a smaller wrist, but you know, if you're gonna buy one of these online, just be aware, it's massive. Right, so let's put it on. Now I have to say, it feels big, and it is big. Be in no mistake, this is a fair old watch. And looking at it on my wrist, um, it's comically large, I have to say. I think if it was, um, if there was more going on the dial, if it was a chronograph, if it said IWC on it, I'd say maybe if it was a Panerai, yeah, because it does what it says on the tin. It's a big watch, it's supposed to be big. But this has no purpose uh, being this size. Yeah. So summing up, would I wear this watch? Well, just like this one, which I never wore. Maybe once or twice, I can't remember now. Uh, I think when I got this one, very soon after, I bought my Seamaster uh, 120, which is another 36mm watch, which I don't have anymore. Um, once I got the Omega, I was never going to go and wear this one again, was I? Let's face it. And similarly with this one, well, I've got nice watches. Um, now, like I said, yeah, if I'm going to the pub, if I think I'm going to be going somewhere, maybe I want to fly under the radar, then I might wear my Apple Watch. Um, this watch just is just a bit, I don't know, it's a bit big. Uh, I just don't have the wrist to carry it. Um, now maybe it's, if I wore it for a few days, it would grow on me, but I don't think so. So thanks team for uh, going to the effort. It's a souvenir, I'll treasure it forever. Yeah, because it reminds me of the fond memories, the great experiences I had at Jaguar Land Rover, and I'll always have it. And we collect things along the way, don't we? Uh, I was in Italy last year and I bought this sticker. So, you know, we, we went to the Monza circuit, uh, rode around in the bicycle, so I thought, ah, you know, we went to the gift shop, bought a mug, big mug, Monza mug, and this little track sticker. Uh, I thought, well, you know, if I get a card that I'm going to keep for a long time, maybe I'll stick it on the boot lid. Um, I've got that new car, I've got the Mazda, maybe I will do, maybe I won't, maybe it's a bit cheesy, but you know, I'll keep it um, just like these gifts, you know, the mug, there's the mug, there's the mug. I've never drunk out this mug, um, because they're mementos. These are things you put away, and then, you know, years down the road, you'll be rummaging through your, your drawers or an old box, and you'll come across this. You go, oh, I remember this gift that my team got for me. Yeah, and you'll, you'll open it, and you'll open a, a treasure chest of memories as well. Maybe I'll, I'll get into pumping iron, and yeah, my wrist looks well big enough to, to pull this one off. Um, we'll see. I've certainly enjoyed doing this unboxing. This for me sort of just draws a line underneath um, the whole experience I've gone through over the last few months. And uh, it's a bit of uh, mental cleansing, if you like. So I'm gonna put all this away now. I've got another job to go to. And by the time this video comes out, I'll have already started it. So I'm quite excited about that. Which will take me on some new adventures and hopefully uh, adventures with my watches. Because we like to enrich our lives and experience is a great way of doing that. And if you can, you know, take a sneaky Instagram shot with one of your watches, add a little bit more provenance. I certainly won't be wearing this one to work, that's for sure. I haven't decided which watch I'm gonna wear on my first day of work yet. Hmm. I'm tempted by the Speedmaster, but maybe I'll go with the, um, maybe I'll go with, maybe I'll go with the Submariner. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'm Andy, this has been English Watch. Take care and I'll see you soon. Please don't forget, give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe and stay with me. Uh, I, I'm not gonna post as often as I used to, um, but I will still be there. So, so thanks for all the support and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.